Now, last week we heard from ooh, Gary Davis when he spoke to Helen Barnes about performing in Nottingham next month and his gig presenting Radio 2 in the park uh, just over border in Leicester. I've just been told that Emma Coldwell did that when she said his name. You can't say Gary Davis without saying ooh, Gary Davis. Uh, this week, Helen has been chatting to his co-host, OJ Borg, who's the TV and radio host for the BBC as well, all about the event being in his hometown and also a very special artist that they're going to bring onto the stage. OJ, it's totally amazing to see you. You're coming to Radio 2 in the park. It's the biggest event that Radio 2 have done outside of London, isn't it? You must be ridiculously excited being your hometown. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. It's happening on Victoria Park, which is the park I spent my entire youth playing basketball on. In fact, I am <laughs> going to try and find... I think my basketball boots are still in the loft, so I'm going to dig them out and bring them down with the basketball and try and play when I get down there. But the fact that it's in my hometown, the fact that... You know, I grew up in Leicester and it always felt like we didn't get the big stuff. It felt like we weren't cool enough. And now Radio 2 is going to be there. So the fact that we're going to be there, we're bringing all these amazing artists and everyone from Radio 2 can come to Leicester. They've all been in my case saying, where do I get the best sandwich? I don't know. More. <laughs> where can we go out? I think we'll go to the fan club. So, yeah, I think the fact that Radio 2 in the park is coming to Leicester is just going to be wonderful. You must have the biggest personal guest list, absolutely bursting with friends and family wanting to come along. Yeah, I, you know, I need to thank Radio 2 for the fact that I have never been this popular. You know, if they could have, you know, if they could have, come, to, if they could have come to Leicester, maybe when I was about 15 or 16 and made me cooler because I checked my Facebook, which I hadn't been on for a while. And all these people I've not spoken to in like 10, 15, 20 years, um, they were like, oh, Jay, how are you? How are those tickets looking? So, yeah, I've never been <laughs> So as soon as everything's finished up on stage on both the Saturday and Sunday, I'll go straight to Radio Leicester, which is a radio station I've never presented at. I tried loads when I was growing up, but I never managed it. Um, so the fact that I'll be presenting a the show there, and we're wrapping up all the great stuff from the day. So all the performances, we'll play those out, all the best things that's happened, all the interviews, anything that's gone on that we think is noteworthy, we'll be putting into those shows. So hopefully I won't be as tired as I normally am. Fantastic. Now, we chatted with Gary Davis the other day on Nuts TV, and he was saying that he gets a personal DJ set, which he's very excited about, and he gets to introduce an artist. Um, what about you? Are you the same? I'm, in I'm introducing the same artist as Gary Davis. We have oh. a script. We signed it off. Me and Gary are interview introducing um, James Blunt, which I think is Fantastic. wonderful, because James Blunt is like the best artist live. He's so wonderful. He's so funny, so self-depreciating. And the last time he played a Radio 2 um event which was oh, i don't know like a billion years ago um he set adrift on an ocean of the crowd in a union jack dinghy so um i think both um uh, both gary and i are going to try and make sure there is some sort of dinghy that we can push oh him off God, into that'd be so exciting that'd be so exciting and you've got a dj set as well have you I have, yeah i'm so basically i'm opening up the stage on both days which i'm wow. which i think is great so so basically uh it's my job to try and really get the crowd going and because it's leicester i've tried to I've tried to theme the set around it a, a bit, you know. So obviously I've chucked some Leicester artists in, but really it's about talking to the crowd about about Leicester, about the things that I remember, about the things that we all remember growing up. You know, hanging out at the clock tower, that's where you met your friends, going to Gianni's for an ice cream soda, going to old John and, you know, walking up in Breakup Park. So it's about that sort of thing. And I think if I can localise Radio 2 to Leicester, which is what we do, you know, Radio 2, biggest radio station in the country, but the, but the fact is, however big it is, it's still local to everyone. And I think that's what's great about this. And I think that's what we'll show with Radio 2 in Leicester this weekend. Um, the tickets sold out within a day. What is it yeah. that makes um, Radio 2 in the Park so special? Why does everybody love it so much? I mean, you're guaranteed a good time. I mean, you listen to Radio 2, you know what you get, and it's everyone's best friend. And I think what you're going to get when you go to this event, that you know from the moment I play my first record to the to the end of the pyro tents on the Sunday, there will not be a down moment. You know everything that's going to happen. Everyone who turns up is going to do a great set. Every song you're going to want to sing along to, you know. I hope that everyone, when we start doing the wrap-up show on the Sunday night, I hope everyone is so drained because it's been so great. So... The fact that it came to Leicester, and I grew up there, you know, as I say, we didn't get the good stuff. So the fact that Radio 2 was there, everyone was like, get me a ticket. This is going to be great. And I think it shocked everyone. I mean, yeah, Leicester festivals are OK, but they're not Nottingham festivals, are they? And we're about to bring you exclusive.